All right, welcome to another episode of Inspired Content, Tasting Christmas Candy Treats. Another one of those peppermint treats that uh, is going to partially be invisible on the green screen. Peppermint Candy Cup. Now, I'm not sure what they're expecting you to do with this. Two servings per container. Half a piece of peppermint cup is a serving. I don't understand that. Lick it, refill it, and eat it. Sweet and fun to eat. Sweet edible candy cup. Alright, so let's pop this little doozy out. So it's... Yep. See through. <laughs> I do love it when it makes me invisible. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do with it. Now, I don't know what they intend. This is a small cup. This is not a huge thing. So I'm not sure what they... I imagine it's probably meant for things like schnapps or something like that. I don't drink schnapps. So I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. So it comes out of the plastic sleeve. God, it's packaged galore. It's got this little plastic thing on the bottom, which is probably what I'll hold it by. So that's the size. <laughs> that's about the size of it. It's invisible. But down the center, it's not very deep. Eh, that's not too bad. It's a shot glass. It's not a full cup. But what I do think will probably work all right for it is... Hershey's Creamy Chocolate Flavored Milkshake. Okay, where's my... Okay, tear away. Chocolate in a shot glass. Whoop! Fills up quickly. Hmm. I don't know if I have to let it sit a while to get the peppermint off of it. I will say, the walls are pretty thick on this glass. Which, I mean, that makes sense. If you're going to put anything like a hot cocoa in here, you don't want it to just dissolve. But I'm not sure I'm getting any peppermint in that. Hmm. All right, so I will try some hot cocoa in there. What else could I put in there? Ooh! Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I might do some tea, some green tea. Peppermint green tea. That sounds like a fun project. Alright, so here's the hot cocoa. Let's see if I can set this up right. We've got our peppermint cup. Our invisible peppermint cup. Filling this with cocoa is... A uh, trick. Two. There's no risk of this doing this directly over my computer. I'm sure it'll be fine. Three. Four. Five. About five and a half regular spoonfuls. Oh, 
Mm, picks up a little bit of the cocoa. Or the peppermint. Yeah, I'm not sure it's making that much of a difference. Again, just stir your hot cocoa with a candy cane. If we let that sit for a minute, see if that soaks in any more of the peppermint. This has been, been sitting long enough that I think it should have taken in some of the peppermint. A little bit. I do think whatever you put in there, you're going to have to let it sit for about one to five minutes. And I have here some green tea. It's sort of like an instant green tea, so it's not high-end stuff. I don't know if that makes any difference to you. There's a little hint of mint to it. I feel like it's just not living up to expectations. Either it holds up as a cup long enough that your drink doesn't disintegrate a bit, or it disintegrates and it doesn't work as a cup. Like the spoon the, the peppermint spoon was crumbly. I had difficulty making that work in a, a drink, a hot drink. Okay, I tried to fill a second cup with that. Give it a little more time. This is this is going to be the last of the tea. I'm not going to do a lot more of that. I don't know. It's like, is that eight ounces? I think that's eight ounces. That's what it said to use. I feel like I could probably do with a well, I don't know. It might just be too weak at that point. It's not a strong tea, but it has that, like, not my favorite. We'll see how the, um, leave it for a good minute in that peppermint thing. Let's see if it degrades. Or upgrades, I don't know. Are you looking for it to degrade or upgrade? I'm not sure. Looks like it's probably pulled in some extra flavors. Yep, definitely got some peppermint with it that time. It's sweetened a little bit. Not bad. I think, again, I'd probably just put it in a regular cup stir with a candy cane. I don't know if alcohol would dissolve it faster or what. Is it dissolved enough of the lining that you can see it now? No. Nope, still invisible. Invisible cups. Now that would be a cool thing. I would pay for invisible cups. Well, I paid for this one too, but Alrighty, so I guess that was sort of this one. Thanks for joining me for this one. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, keep playing with your food.